Welcome to the XEOD installation tutorial. The XEOD is an opening and safety sensor for automatic sliding doors combining radar and infrared technology. First, prepare the tools needed for the installation of the sensor. You can find all the elements needed for the installation in the box. Before installing the sensor, always carefully read the user's guide. To start, unclip the cover by making a levering motion with the screwdriver to discover the inside of the sensor and its components. The radar antenna, the IR curtain width adjustment, the LCD screen, the IR curtain angle adjustment, the adjustment knob, and the wiring. Before mounting the sensor, loosely stick the mounting template on the door frame at a max distance of 5 cm from the profile edge. Make sure to align the vertical line with the closing edge of the door. Drill two holes for the fixation screws. Choose between the lower or upper indications. Drill one hole with a diameter of max 12 mm to pass the cable. Position the XEO base on the door and tighten the screws to fasten the sensor firmly onto the door frame. When installed on standard doors, please follow the wiring diagram. When installed on emergency exits, connect the yellow and white or yellow black and white black wires to the opening input according to your door controller. Plug the white connector into the white plug. The LCD screen is active now. Make a loop with the wires to avoid bringing humidity to the sensor. Please step out of the detection field because after power on, the sensor launches an automatic setup and makes a reference picture. When active, the LCD screen displays the output status of the radar and infrared detection. The output is highlighted in black when triggered by a detection. An LED signal also indicates the detection status. The green LED indicates motion detection, and the red LED signals a presence detection in the safety field. Push the grey button once to choose between one of the many available languages, and push again to select your preference. Two short pushes on the grey button activate the visible spots on the floor. Measure the distance between the door and the visible spots, which represent the inner curtain of the safety field. By turning the red adjustment knob using a cross-headed screwdriver or your hand, you move the IR curtains closer to or further away from the door. Make sure to comply with regional standards. Once the curtains are positioned correctly, launch a new setup. Please step out of the detection field while the sensor takes a new reference picture. In case of emergency exits, Enter the LCD menu to adjust the radar output parameter according to your door controller. Select frequency or current and validate your choice by pushing again. The angle of the opening field can be adjusted by tilting the radar antenna up and down or by turning it sideways. 
by changing the antenna, you can modify the width of the detection field. Use the three patch antenna for a wide field and the six patch antenna for a narrow field. Good to know. To change the antenna, unclip the black frame Exchange the antennas and clip the frame back on. The basic installation is now completed and you can close the sensor by clipping the cover back on the base. To finish, always test the good functioning of the installation before leaving the premises. For further adjustments of the sensor, remove the cover using a screwdriver. The LCD menu is composed of three levels, Basic, Advanced and Diagnostics. In the first menu, you can adjust the infrared immunity according to the mounting height and the environment. When the sensor is installed below 2.8 meters, choose value 2 on inner doors and value 3 on outer doors. For an installation higher than 2.8 meters, choose values 6 or 7 respectively. The Ixio can be mounted up to 3.5 meters to comply with regional standards. The IR frequency parameter is useful when sensors are installed close to each other or in a case of side screen safety. To avoid crosstalk between the sensors, pay attention that the curtains do not overlap and select a different frequency on each sensor. In case of narrow or single leaf doors or side screen safety, adapt the width of the safety curtains. To do so, choose the desired width via LCD screen and adjust the arrow position accordingly. Make sure that the width of the door opening is fully covered. Always validate the position by pushing the grey button. The service mode deactivates the safety field for 15 minutes, which is useful in case of maintenance. If necessary, adapt the size of the radar field via the LCD menu. Again, always validate your selection. Instead of manual adjustments, you can choose one of the three pre-settings to quickly adapt the sensor to your application. Standard, Critical Environment for better immunity to environmental changes, or Shopping Street in narrow lanes with pedestrian cross-traffic. For further information on other possible adjustments, please refer to the User's Guide. In the Diagnostics menu, select Zip Code. The mobile app, BEA Decoder, will give you a quick summary of the sensor's current configuration, directly on your smartphone. After encoding the zip code, an overview of all selected values is displayed. Take a picture of the zip code for future reference. You can download our BEA Decoder app for free on the App Store or on Google Play. At the end of the installation, close the sensor and test the good functioning of the installation. 
To do so, make sure you are detected on the door threshold while standing still for at least 5 seconds. Thank you for watching our tutorial. You can follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay tuned.